last 24 hours, the weather's been pretty wild, hasn't it? The south is uh, only just recovering tonight after Storm Imogen swept across the region. Trains and ferry services were disrupted and hundreds were left without power. Now, in some areas, wind gusts reach between 80 and 90 miles an hour along the coast. Let's join our reporter, Edward Salt. He's in Lymington for us uh, this evening. Um, it still is pretty windy there, Ed. It certainly is, Sally. You can probably tell by looking at my hair, actually. Over my shoulder, you can see one of the Isle of Wight ferries. It's just arrived here in Lymington. Some services have been affected throughout the day on both White Link and Red Funnel services. We're actually hearing in the past half an hour, Condor ferries, who operate services from the Channel Islands to the mainland, have actually cancelled their overnight sailing to Portsmouth. On social media this afternoon, they said they expected the wave height to exceed 10 metres. Also today, the bad weather has caused power cuts from places from Corf to Ringwood to Southampton to Shanklin. We've had Storm Frank in the past, we've had Storm Gertrude, but it was Storm Imogen that arrived in our part of the world today and by doing so, she packed quite a punch. Holding on for the view. It wasn't just their sandwiches beachgoers had to hold on to today as Storm Imogen made her arrival known. High seas and strong winds led to stones and debris being tossed to the shore. For some, though, Imogen was something they had to see for themselves. Yeah, it reminds of the, of the storm that was here a couple of years ago that destroyed the beach huts. Yeah. And Mar what do you make of what you've seen here? Oh, uh, well, uh, I would love to be at home now, really. <laughs> Milford on a bad day. <laughs> what brought you out today? Just to have a look. I kind of feel it, really. Just for us, it's, uh, it is pretty strong wind, isn't it? But and all across the south, Imogen has been making a name for herself. A car crashed into a tree as it fell in Hill Lane in Southampton in the early hours. In West Sussex, this scaffolding came crashing down onto this road in Worthing as rush hour began, and high river levels led to flooding south of Wimborne. Back in Milford, we met Carol. She's worked at this cafe for over 40 years, and she told me she's seen worse weather. After the storm of two years ago, it was worse. Um, we lost all our beach huts and there was more than just shingle everywhere. Um, but it does seem to be on an upward stroke rather than going back. You know, it's very, very rough. Life in the South will now get back to normal as we're told the worst of the weather should be over. Yeah, that'd be good news for commuters and the uh, Isle of Wight ferry here. The ramp, as you can see, is going down now. They're going to start loading uh, cars and passengers in just a few moments. Good news for commuters. Some of those I spoke to here this evening were worried that any worse weather could mean longer delays. We've also hearing that the Sandbanks ferry you saw in my report services, they're still suspended tonight. The bad weather that we've expected, those severe gales that we've had today, are expected to ease during the course of the evening. Although severe gusts of up to 60 miles an hour still can't be ruled out. From a blustery and windy Livington, Sally, it's back to you. Ed, thank you very much. Take care. And, uh, of course,